Hello. In this video, we're going to learn how to navigate to the Wikispaces website. And we are going to go over how to navigate the home page, as well as to navigate the settings on the website. So first, what you're going to do is open a web browser. And I'm just using Google Chrome here, but you can use Firefox, Internet Explorer, or any other browser that you like. So we're going to go to the address bar, which is now highlighted in blue, and we're going to type in www.wikispaces.com. This takes you right to the Wikispaces homepage, and this is what it looks like. Up in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a black button that says Sign In. Click that link. This is going to take you to the Sign In page. Now you can see here that my username and password have already been saved here, but enter your username that I'll give you and your password that I'll give you, and go ahead and click Sign In. This takes you to your account page, and you can see here that you'll have a list of your favorite wikis, you'll have an inbox for messages, you can monitor specific pages to keep track of them, and you'll see that in monitoring. They also have a new section so that you can see articles about Wikispaces, and the community section where you can ask questions if you can't find the information in the help file. We're going to go scroll back up to the top of the page. Up here you'll have a little toolbar. Dashboard takes you back to your account homepage. You can start a new wiki by clicking that. The third one is settings and we'll look at that in a minute. And this tells you how many messages you have. And you can see here I don't have any right now. Up here in this section, this will take you back to your dashboard. This will take you directly to a list of your wikis. This gets you to the help files and sign out completely signs you out of the website. So what we're going to do next is we're going to check settings. So you're going to click that button. You can see that the same toolbars are still on the page, but this is your account page. You can see here your details, so you can change your username, although none of you will. You'll see the email that you used to sign up, although you don't have to use an email because you have a student account. You can change your password, although you're not going to and you can delete your Wikispaces account, although again you're not going to do that either. Scrolling down a little bit, if you want to you can add a profile picture which you can see Tommy Trojan there in all of his cardinal and gold glory. You can view your profile, edit your profile, or delete your profile. Down here these settings are important because you can change your language. So for example, if English is not your native language, you can change it to Basque, Catalan, English, Esperanto, French, German, Italian, Polish, Spanish, or Welsh. I don't think any of you speak Welsh, but you have the option for that. You can change the time zone, although we're all on Eastern Time. But for example, if you were collaborating with someone in California, you might decide together that it would be easier to put it into Pacific Time. Use Visual Editor means that you will stick with the WASIWIG interface. And when we talk about making pages, I'll show you what that means. Results per page 20, it doesn't matter what you set that to allow private messages from, I suggest you set that to other members of wikis that you belong to so that your group mates can communicate with you. Email monitor changes. You can set it to one email per change or one email per day. It's likely that if you set it to yes one email per change you're going to be inundated. So keep it to one email per day. You can monitor your favorite pages, and your favorite pages will be the ones you work on, so you can keep track of those. You can 
receive an email every time you get a private message. If you like, you can receive site news emails. Um, you don't have to do that. And then you have your OpenID account, which some of you probably have one, some of you don't. Please don't associate your OpenID because anyone with that information can hack into your Wikispaces account and create some practical joke. And since this assignment is for a grade, you really don't want to do that. So do not associate an open ID with this account. So since I'm happy with these changes, I will click Save. And it has updated my account information. So in our next video, we're going to cover how to get to the main page, and we are going to talk about how to navigate within that page. If you have questions, please see me. Otherwise, have a good day.